What's going on, Pokemon fam, YouTube fam? I hope you're all doing well today, guys. So, in today's video, guys, I'm going to go ahead and discuss with you briefly uh, how to generate your first 10k in sales for your Pokemon business slash TCG business. And I think 10k for most people, I think most people that are probably watching this are probably struggling to hit that five-figure that five-figure mark every 90 days. Okay, specifically 90 days. Okay. And I know that's going to sound like a lot of money to generate, you know, that amount in sales in 90 days. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys like the systems that I use, the discipline that I use basically. And it's very simple. It just, it's going to require more effort than doing a thousand dollars in sales, right? And in my opinion, like doing a thousand dollars in sales in 90 days should require little to no effort in my opinion at this point, if you've been doing this for a while, um, obviously, if you're new, you know, you definitely have a little bit of a grace period. But over time, like, you know, doing $1,000 in sales in 90 days, that should be, like, extremely easy at this point, right? And should, there should be, like, there's no systems when it comes to $1,000, right? There, there's no systems and there's really not that much discipline, right? You can pretty much accidentally get to $1,000 in sales, right? Now, on the other hand, you cannot accidentally get to $10,000 in sales because it's a lot more... Um, strategic, a lot more complexity, a lot more nuance, okay? And obviously a lot more effort. So let me go ahead and lower my screen really quick and just show you guys my screen and my analytics of my eBay store the past six months. Um, so let me go ahead and just scroll through really quick to show you my analytics. From January 1st through March 31st of this year, which was about 90 days, which is the quarter, uh, I did about t over 12K in sales that quarter. Um, you know, pretty good quarter for me in that first quarter. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And then March 1st, I'm sorry, not March 1st, April 1st. Be April 1st. April 1st through June 30th, I did, whoopsies, no, April, there we go. April, I did a little bit above 10K in sales, okay? So that's all I need to really show you guys. That way, you know, you guys, do you see that I'm actually preaching what I'm actually practicing on my own doing, you know, obviously back to back, you know, over 10 K months in 90 days, each, each of them being 90 days each. Um, that way you guys know that I'm not messing around. So just a few steps. Um, you don't need to jot this down. You don't need to write notes or anything like that. You just need to just pay attention to what I'm going to say. And yeah, take this as a podcast form. If you want, if you're listening to this in your car or your headphones. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to have about $2,000 in your business account. You should split your, your personal accounts, the things you use for your bills, um, your, you know, your, your spending, whatever, however you spend your money and your savings or whatever into your personal account. And then you should have a business account where you're just purely using it for your Pokemon business. Okay. So in your Pokemon business account, you should have at least two thousand dollars why have two thousand dollars that should be the bare minimum you can have three four five k doesn't matter what the case may be the reason why you should have at least two thousand dollars is because it gives you a little bit of a cushion okay and you can really use two thousand dollars to your advantage and have a lot more just liquidity to fool around with with that type of money and you know getting the 10k would be a lot easier when you have this type of capital just kind of just ready to deploy into you know, different types of collections that you do buy, that you do source, okay? And that's going to lead to my next point, which is you want to start listing more frequently, okay? If you struggle with this, this is what's going to basically turn around your whole entire business model. You need to be a listing at least 100 items a week, okay? When eBay sees that you're active, because I sell on eBay, okay? When eBay sees that you are active and you're selling, uh, not selling, but listing pretty consistently, you know, they're going to list your items a lot higher into the search in the, S the SEO, right? The search engine on eBay. And your items are going to come up a lot more frequently because eBay is going to see that you're very consistent, okay? When you're listing over 100 items, that gives you more of a chance to sell, get more sales, right? The bigger quantity of listings that you put out there on your, on your store, okay? Um, I'm going to come back to this point, the second point, a little bit later because... 100 is a very important number, okay? But let's go ahead and go to the next one really quick. The third one is that you should be sourcing higher-end collections. 
if you are using the TCG TCG player model, where you're basically buying pretty much all bulk, right? If you're just buying, you know, 10, 15, 20,000 cards that are bulk, right? That's going to be very hard, guys. You know, I'm just telling you guys right now, that's going to be a very hard, that's going to be really hard. I'm not saying it's impossible to use a TCG player model and to use that model and to get the 10K every single 90 days. But I'm telling you right now, like if you do TCG player and you utilize the model of just buying bulk and buying bulk and buying bulk, you're going to know that it's going to be a lot harder. <laughs> you know, you want to fish for the higher quality stuff, the slabs, the binders, right? The more expensive lots because the higher end, the more desirable those cards are going to be. And you're going to get a lot more sales because those are a lot higher end, right? So quality over quantity over a long period of time is just going to increase your sale number by a lot more, okay? So in my opinion, I'm in, I'm in the field or the camp rather to go for the higher quality collections rather than fish for only bulk, okay? Now the fourth point, which may be challenging for a lot of people, which if it's challenging, if, this may be challenging for some people, may not. But you should at least be selling each item for 10 bucks. okay? Every single item that you sell should be an average sale price of, a, of $10, okay? Um, the reason why each should be $10 is because it's going to get you to 10 k a lot quicker. Let me go ahead and circle back to that 100 okay? Let's say you sell 100 items every week. Every 100 items, and you take this $10 rule that I just told you, okay? That is $1,000 a week in sales, okay? Obviously 100 times 10, okay, is going to be a 1000, okay? So that rule, right? Only selling 100 items is not a lot, guys, okay? It's actually not that much. And if each price of each card is going to be at least 10 bucks, you can see how eventually once you get to 1000, you know, 1000, you sell 1000 items in 90 days, you get to 10k right so like i said quality give me fewer sales right 100 a week and this is gonna be high because of the quality right this is the strategy that i utilize this is the system that i utilize quality fewer sales during the week but higher on per item right so keep that in mind you definitely want to do it this way one through four right and then the last one is that you want to do 1K in sales per week. If you do more, let's say you do like 1,500, right? That's awesome. Anything above 1,000 is, is great, right? Um, but you want, to do, you want to aim for $1,000 a week, okay? And let me go ahead and circle back to the first point, which was you want to have 2K that you want to play around with, right? And if you're, if you're doing 1K in sales a week, guys, you're pretty much only spending $1,000 a week, okay? Spend 1000 you know, spend a thousand dollars, get the one thousand back. That's my general rule. If you guys have been, you know, subscribed to my channel for a very long time, I tell you guys that whatever money that you spend in a week, you should be able to get back. I'm being serious. You should be able to get it back. I know that's going to sound really like that sounds really hard, but not really because once you have the snowball effect, right, where you have a lot of listings, you're listing pretty consistently, doing one k a week, guys. Is not going to be that difficult. If your budget is 1K a week, you should be able to get 1K back. No problem when that snowball effect happens. You have larger listings. Like I said, you're listing more frequently, 100 items a week, okay? And you build the eBay account, or you build your eBay store to have way more selections. 1K a week is not going to be that hard, okay? And you should be getting that money back, continue, you know, effortlessly, guys, every single week, right? And Getting $1,000 back, spend $1,000, okay? Get $1,000 back, spend $1,000, right? And that's my rule. Whatever you are willing to budget every single week, whatever you're willing to spend every week, you should be able to get it back every seven days, okay? Because eBay pays you out every seven days. It can be quicker. Some people like to do three days. Some people like to do it like literally daily, right? I like to do mine weekly because I like getting a big fat, you know, chunk of change, you know, not change, but a big fat chunk of money back into my accounts. Whereas daily is kind of like, you know, when you're doing it full time, when you're doing it full time, which I'm not full time doing this, but when you're full time, you can do daily. That way you have a lot more, you know, um, you know, 
liquidity being back, um, you know, circling, circ you know, going funneling. I can't even talk. Funneling through your whole entire system. You have liquidity funneling through the entire operation, right? Um, I don't know why that took me so that took so hard. That was so hard for me to say that. I don't know why. Um, it's been a long day, guys. Like I've been outside in 117 degree weather at my full time job. I work for Amazon, so that's why. Man, the heat just takes the, <laughs> just destroys your brain cells. I feel like because I feel a little stupid right now. <laughs> um, but yes, so this right here is a system that I utilize for myself. As you can see, I've utilized it for myself um, in my own operation. And there should be really no excuse to not use this op, you know, use these tactics to benefit your own store. So, anyways, guys, I hope you liked today's video. Uh, go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub if you found this video useful um, and helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night, guys. Peace out.